All right. Foundation of Mountain 1.1 number eight now. Uh, we're gonna use unit analysis to, take, to tackle these uh, questions as well. So for A, always start off with what you're given including the units and unit analysis. And unit analysis is a multiplication, again, of some kind of conversion factor or a multiple or multiple conversion factors, so multiple multiplications if you need it, to convert to what you need to find. So miles to feet. Now, if you know the conversion factor to miles to feet, then you can use that. And of course, I'm going to put miles on the bottom because I want the miles in the given value to, to, uh, um, to cancel out with or divide out with uh, the, the miles in our conversion factor. And so feet. Now, if you don't know miles to feet, then we, we would have to do this slightly differently. But I, I believe that you, oh yeah, we have this right here. So. There are 5,280 feet in one mile. So I am going to put 5,280 right here, and I'm gonna put one mile right here. So that means that I'm gonna end up with a value of feet, and that value is gonna come when I multiply two times 5,280, or 10,560. Feet. Someone can double check that number for me. For you. There I am. Hey everyone. Here we are. Okay, so 8B uh, is 574 inches, and we want to convert that to yards, feet, and inches. And what that means is I, I think that what they're asking for is one measurement, like so many yards, and then so many leftover feet, and then so many leftover inches. Not to three separate uh, values. So, you know, like, uh, you know, it would be like 55 yards, three feet and 10 inches or whatever. So one single measurement. So let's, so let's tackle this in pieces. First of all, let's find out how many yards. Yards are the biggest unit there. So let's find out how many yards that is. And I would suggest doing this. Put inches on the bottom, put yards on top. And we know that there's 36 inches in one yard, okay? So that's gonna be how many exact yards that we're gonna get. Let's figure that out first. So 574 divided by 36, that's gonna be yards, because inches are gonna go away. So on your calculator, certainly you won't be able to do that in your head probably, it's gonna be a decimal. So let's turn this on and go 574 divided by 36. So I get 15.9 and then four repeating. So let's do this, it's gonna be 15.94 and that's gonna be repeating, yards. Well, that's great, we're not done yet, but what we do know is this, is that we have 15 full yards. So the answer to how many full yards we have is 15. Now let's deal with the rest of this value, okay? So this, I'm gonna look, focus on the 0.94 repeating yards. So watch this, a secondary uh, uh, calculation is gonna be 0.94 repeating yards and let's convert that to feet, okay, whoops, is how many feet? Uh, so that's gonna be the second part of this question. So that's gonna be 0.94 repeating yards times, do I know the connection between yards and feet? I do, one yard is three feet, does that make sense? So this is our, our secondary um, uh, calculation and you do that on your calculator so I'm going to just subtract 15 from this answer to get my 0.94 repeating. And now I'm gonna multiply that by three. So now I get 2.83 repeating, and that's gonna be feet. So 2.83 repeating feet. So how many full feet do I have? Well, I know that I have two full feet. So I have 15 full yards, this number of yards turns into this number of full feet. And so now I need to just calculate this little leftover part of feet to inches. And then we'll have to, we'll end there, so we may have to round if, if necessary. So now the, the part three, or the number three part, here's number two part, the number three part is 0 0.83 repeating feet uh, is how many inches. And so we're gonna multiply by a conversion factor between feet on the bottom and inches on top. Those units cancel out, 
they divide out and I'm gonna go with one here and 12 here. 12 inches is to one feet, one foot. So 0.83 repeating times 12 is how many inches I'm going to have. And we get on the calculator there as well. So 0.83 repeating times 12 is, look at that, exactly 10. So this is 10 inches. So I, I do this in, in different parts. That's the, way, that's the way I do it. There might be a, a different way the textbook lays it out. I'm not exactly 100% sure right now. But that's the way I would do that. That's easiest for me to understand. Find the full yards, then look at the little decimal and find out how many full feet you have, full feet, and then take that leftover decimal and find out how many inches that translates to. Okay, so your answer here, and I'll do this in black, would be 15 yards, two feet, and 10 inches. For an answer. And you can certainly check, uh, check the back of your book there. Uh, again, in your textbook, you'll have uh, answers in the back. They won't have worked out solutions, but they do have the answers. So when you do a question, uh, you should check the back of the book to see if your answer matches the back of the book. And if it does, you probably did it right, and you can move on. If it doesn't match, you might want to go back and check your work to make sure you can do it right. Uh, and if, it's, if you still don't get it, put a little star beside it, ask me the next day. Okay? All right, so that's it. We went through that very slow and methodically, but are you guys understanding that? More practice, you'll get faster at that. Okay? So let's do, let's do C. Uh, actually, why don't you guys try C on your own? Do C on your own, and then um, uh, give you a minute to do that, and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you sort of my work on that. So 7,390 feet to miles, yards, and feet. Okay, so that's your job right now. 8C, go ahead. There I am. Hey, everyone. All right, 8C. So um, we can do some con uh, unit analysis here. I'm going to convert to miles first, and it's probably going to be a decimal. But 7,390 feet, OK? I'm going to multiply by a conversion factor that includes feet on the bottom, and then something else that's known on the, on the top. And hopefully, I know the, the relationship between miles and feet, which I do, OK? So we have one mile is 5,280 feet. So I'm going to get um, the number for miles first. By dividing, see this is on top and this is on bottom, so it's 7,390 divided by 5,280. So that number is going to be 7390 divided by 5280. 1.3996. So 1.3996. Um, as far as decimal places, Write four or five decimal places wh while you're doing the question, just to be safe, and then you can round your answer um, you know, at, the, at the end. Or better yet, on your calculator screen, try and keep all of the decimal places that show up on your calculator screen for future calculations until you're done the question. So, so keep as many decimal places as possible when you're doing these calculations. Because if you round this to 1.4, you are going to get the wrong answer by the end. Because we have to do a series of calculations, so if you round your, on your answer too early, it's, you're not going to get the right, uh, the correct, uh, a very accurate answer, okay? So I'm going to write down at least four decimal places here. I'm going to keep these numbers on my screen. So that's going to be miles, okay? So how many whole miles do I have? Well, I have one whole mile. You see that? So that's great. So I'm going to keep that in mind. And now I'm going to work on the, uh, the, the decimal por portion to get yards. So now the number two uh, calculation is going to be 0 0.3996 miles. And I want to find out how many yards that is. So I'm going to put miles in the bottom and yards on top. Now, do you know that, that conversion factor? That should be on that sheet that I just gave you. How many yards are in one mile? 1,760 is correct. OK, so miles are going to divide out. I'm going to be left with yards. So what is this on my calculator? So I have one point, all this decimal. I'm going to subtract one, so I'm just left with the full decimal. It's just a quick way, instead of retyping it all, 
you can just kind of use your brain and do that. So I'm going to use that whole decimal, and I'm going to multiply it by 1,760. Well, look at that. 703.3 repeating. So that's equal to 703.3 repeating. That's going to be yards. Okay. Awesome. So how many full yards do I have? Well, 703 full yards. So one mile, 703 yards. And now I have to deal with this 0.3 repeating. And if you use your brain a little bit, you probably don't even need to do any calculations on your calculator anymore to finish this off. Because 0.3 repeating is exactly one third. All right, so that's going to be pretty easy to find out how many, what do we got, feet here next. So three feet um, uh, to one yard. And so three times 0.3 repeating is the same as one third times three, right? So that's just equal to what? Yeah, one third of three is one. So it's going to be one foot. And if you want to do that on your calculator, don't feel bad if you have to. Um, but you might be able to just see that. And so I'm going to put one third, you know, times three is going to be exactly, well, okay, it's going to be 0.9 repeating. <laughs> okay, I just talked about this in my calculus class, pre <laughs> the previous period. Um, but 0.9 repeating, what's that pretty much equal to? One. Yeah, if it's repeating forever, it's the same as one. Okay, it's... Yeah, the same as one. <laughs> so if, you're, if your calculator says, you know, 0.99999 and it has a screen full of 0.99999s, you can round that to one. So that's going to be one foot. All right. <clears throat> so that's your answer. It's going to be one mile, one mile, 703 yards, and one foot. You can separate those by commas if you want. That's your answer to C. Okay, so how about it? Does anybody have any questions about number eight?